Mothra. Don't call it a... Tidora. Don't call it a... Rodan. Don't call it a... You got a catchy name for this one? I got Tilla. Don't call it a... Comeback. I'm in here for Dan. Our planet will perish. Bam! Unless we set Godzilla free. Listen to the beast go boom! So this plan is what you would call a long shot. Well, let's get started. Competition be in the fight! That's messed up. This is God's Lewis world. He's just living. Damn right. Rated PG-13. Experience it in IMAX May 31st. You know, it's easy to deal with humans, but monsters? You gotta be kidding. You need the G-Team. We get the job done. They are so intense. They're running and jumping. There's a lot of saving people. Hang on, kid! It's a dirty job, but somebody has to do it. G-Team, Barnes, Martinez, Hendrix, I want you on those crows now! You are both ready! Since discovering Godzilla in 54, Monarch and the military have been working together, coming up with new technologies and resources to deal with that threat. I got my Monarch mug. Monarch in the original film and in Kong Skull Island were sort of lurking in the shadows. In this film, we're finally going to meet more of their scientists, see their headquarters. Our new flagship facility built to track and study Godzilla on his own turf. And their sleek new technology. There are these cool toys, most notably the Argo. It's this massive ship. Oh my god, the underwater base is insane. All of the stuff that we do is super, super high tech and really cool. We understand that these monsters are a part of the ecosystem, so it's not about just getting there, running and gunning. There's a balance that we have to make sure that we uphold. Two minutes. Check your equipment. Stand by the door. Most of the time, when you're dealing in the military, you got to worry about being blown up, shot. In G Team, you have to worry about being ripped apart, stomped, ate. And it can lead to quite a few casualties. Oh, shit. That's messed up. Castle Bravo, this is Raptor 1 on direct approach. It's me, Barnes, Martinez, and then we have Colonel Foster, who's above all of us. All ships, follow our lead. We're never asked to work on our chemistry because it came naturally. It was weird. We all just clicked so well. We all really get along, and we all really look out for each other. We had a couple days off, and I was like, I miss O'Shea. <laughs> like, I miss Anthony. All the G-Team cats are cool. <laughs> military have been very busy. We need an organization like Monarch to make sure we keep an eye on these creatures. I really like that we become an ally with Godzilla. It was really cool to be in that world. It's going to be so action-packed. It's going to be wild. And the G team, we're ready to get down, and it's all for Godzilla. Damn right. Personally, it was really important to make a Godzilla film that lives up to the legacy that inspired it. Growing up, I would take my pet box turtle and let him stampede through my play sets in front of my old camcorder. Like, that was literally my first attempt at making a movie. And so here we are, decades later, and I'm doing the same thing on a much bigger scale. It's literally a dream come true. What we are witnessing here is the return of an ancient and forgotten super species. Mothra, Rodan, King Ghidorah, and Godzilla. It was a really great all-star team of these monsters. Beautiful. Mothra, queen of the monsters. 
I was already in love with Mothra before we started the movie. And then as it progressed, I only fell in love with her more. My favorite will always be Mothra. I think she's just the most spiritual. She's the creature that best represents a chance for establishing a relationship between human beings and the Titans. My girl, she's a boss. For this one? Rodan, the fire demon. That's comforting. Well, we've got Rodan, which is another hellish type of force. And Rodan comes out of this huge volcano. Rodan is one of my all-time favorites, especially because he could fly, and that he could cause vast amounts of destruction without ever really trying. Oh, shit. King Ghidorah, he is Godzilla's nemesis. I like to say that he is the Joker to Godzilla's Batman. Ghidorah for me was the scariest one of all of them. He is literally a massive hurricane. So Godzilla is surrounded by all these other newly risen titans and you're not quite sure what's gonna happen. Long live the king. variable cacophony of crazy ass monsters. Godzilla is my hero. He's a monster made of nightmares. He's an icon. What is not to love about a fire-breathing megawatt monster who makes us feel all too human? Doesn't get bigger than Godzilla. extinction we feared has already begun and we are the cause we are the infection Like all living organisms, the Earth unleashed a fever to fight this infection. Its original and rightful rulers, the Titans. For thousands of years, these creatures have remained in hiding around the world. And unless all the Titans are found, our planet will perish, and so will we. They are the only guarantee that life will carry on. Seeing here is the return of Titans. How many of these things are there? Seventeen and counting. 
That's messed up. <laughs> Mothra. Rodan. Kidora. Oh my. They're moving like a pack. They're hunting. They all respond directly to an alpha. We stop this Ghidorah. We stop them all. Is there another creature that might stand a chance against him? My God. Zilla. Our planet will perish. And so will we. We set Godzilla free. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's bring him in for a beer. No, this time we join the fight. Run. Godzilla's world. We just live in it. Damn right. Hello? Is anyone there? I'm trying to reach. Senators, we believe that these titans are just the tip of the iceberg. Which of these titans are here to protect us? And which of these titans are here to threaten us? So you'd want to make Godzilla our pet? No. We would be his. You're sure he's gonna be okay? They're everywhere. Battling for dominance. A rival alpha to Godzilla. You gotta be kidding. 